Hey, it's Playhouse Y94, the number one hit music station. Zero, Jamie, Amy K on the Playhouse this morning. Thank you for joining us today. So, 7.36 in the morning as we slide into a round of confessions. I like to do this often on Wednesdays because you hit that midpoint in the week, and gosh, even in the first full week of the year, it's easy to maybe do something that's weighing heavy on you. Start the new year here as just fresh and guilt free as you can and absolve yourself with Confession Wednesday. Do either of you have a confession today uh yeah okay so i have a confession we overdid it with our christmas gifts this year and we bought like way way too many and it was just too much but also we have a side side confession confession. happy Happy birthday birthday to you it's zero's birthday listen so we didn't want to get you a cake so, so we got <laughs> lasagna. Oh, wonderful. Your favorite Thank lasagna. You. However, it's cold, so we still have to heat it up for you. Because we didn't think the candle would stay in. A if cold it piece of lasagna? No, it it's just needs to be warmed up. Wait, Thank you're going to you. blow the key. You gotta, don't, I was putting it in the don't camera. Don't blow it too fast. You're going to blow the candle Come out on, on accident. And, yeah, you have to blow and it out. And make a birthday wish. wish. Okay. I'm going to wish for this lasagna to be cake. <laughs> <laughs> We Tonight. thought you didn't want cake. No. Well, I didn't want you to do anything. Thank but you very much. The, you can heat it up. We just didn't. We thought if we heated it up, well, a the metal would it's explode. It's in foil, yeah. Oh, well, thank um, you. It also would be, but we actually have a real big giant lasagna in the fridge for you to for eat you. for dinner. Mm. Is this uh, is this a Jamie lasagna or is this a mother in law wedding no, lasagna? This is a Boston's lasagna. Oh, that we, works too. No, yeah. Nobody made it. It's <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> we did not cook this. Oh, we well, wanted you to actually eat it. Thank you very much. <laughs> that was a very heartfelt piece of lasagna and exploding tin foil. Yeah, <laughs> you're welcome. It needs another. Uh, give another close up in the camera. A birthday lasagna. It came with bread, too, but I don't know where we put it. That there should be you your confession. You trying to hide your birthday. I honestly, yeah, I, 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 birthdays aren't fun. Ooh, I love Once you get past 21, they're not fun anymore. And then every year is just a step closer to death. Well, that's that's kind of a it. sad way to yeah. look at it. I look at my birthdays as another year you're alive. That's true. What a celebration. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right another one. Mm. Thank you. I'm ex- I honestly, at first, I just assumed it was your mother in law's lasagna. No, uh, no. We wanted you to like actually eat it, so it was cooked safely without Amy or I's hands touching it. Yes. Except oh, for that was a slight at you guys, not your mother in law. Oh. I was like, why do you have so little faith in her? I just know she makes a lot of lasagna. <laughs> no, we didn't. We didn't touch it. Mm-mm. Listen, I really do like the Boston's pizza lasagna, so that's a good, good catch. There's right? actually like a full one in the fridge for you to like take home and enjoy it without any of us touching it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whenever we do the the deliveries to, to offices with Boston's, which you can sign up for at 194.com, if they give you lasagna and you notice a, a fist sized chunk out of it, it's because I really like their lasagna. It's pretty you good. You had to taste test it yeah. for safety purposes. Mm-hmm. I just don't want to be delivering anything that, yeah, is, <laughs> isn't up to our standards. Yeah. Always is. Always is. Thank you. Your confession today. Hello. I have a special Tigger from Winnie the Pooh, and I sleep with him every night, and I make sure that he's tucked in comfortably, and I I make sure his head's above the covers, and I know it's silly, but when I have guys come over, I put Tigger in the closet, and I, I, I set him up nicely. Like, I make sure this is a pillow and a little blanket. And I close the door because I don't want him seeing what's happening. I know it's silly, but I just don't want him there for that. And and I know it's a little awkward, but I love my doll. So it, did you say it's a Tigger from Winnie the Pooh? Like yeah. the okay, yeah. I thought that's what you said it was. She also said she hides it so Tigger doesn't see what they're doing. Yeah. I thought she was <laughs> hiding it so her Same. friends don't see that she has a Tigger. So I want to make sure I got the story the same way. So she has a Tigger that she sleeps with every yeah. night from mm-hmm. Winnie the Pooh. And then he he has his own little place. He sleeps in the closet. And the reason he's there is so that his, his sweet, innocent little eyes aren't tainted by what might happen in that bed when he's not there. Or, like, I think if she just has friends over, like, oh, okay. anyone... But maybe in the bedroom, too. I'm that's, not sure. I thought that's what I that's was understanding there. Yeah, oh. She doesn't want Tigger judging her for what I thought be, she didn't want to people do. to judge her for having a Tigger. Who would judge Tigger? Yeah. He's arguably the star of Winnie the Pooh. Piglet is. go that far. 
Yeah. Or Who Eeyore. is the star? I, I mean, mean, technically, yes. It but is, it's named after him, yes, but I feel like Tigger's kind of the show stealer. He's just a dummy bouncing around like a weirdo all the time. <laughs> and Piglet's just a whiner. There's a lot of wonderful things about Tiggers. Tiggers are wonderful things. You know what the most wonderful thing about Tiggers are? He's the only one. Is that the song? Yes. Oh, I was going to say, yeah. I don't, I'm not picking up on this. It's yeah. the song. Yeah, all Winnie the Pooh does is walk around whining about he's got no honey. A little, little, little bit smack a little honey. Like, Winnie the Pooh's <laughs> just annoying. Are you seeing some Texas confessions? Yeah, somebody said, uh, my confession is that my sister asked me to babysit this weekend, but my husband and I decided to go out of town last minute. I don't know how I'm going to tell her because it's the second time that I've canceled on her babysitting. She also had plans. Somebody else said, I went shopping for groceries the other day, spent way too much money on myself, but because I was at the grocery store, it looks like I just got a whole bunch of food. When my husband asked me about it, I said the prices just went up. That's you a know, good excuse. That's yeah. actually a pretty good, not not bad. Not, not bad at all. It's a good way to get out of that. Yeah, it's just weird. All of a sudden, ground beef went up 100%. And if, yeah, if he's not off and doing shopping, yep. he probably would never know. Your confession today. Hello. Every uh, every few months, I like to call into work and uh, say I'm sick, and then I just go home and play video games for hours. And, <laughs> uh, you know, it's my personal care, which they, uh, which they say is pretty important. Is, so is that like the equivalent of maybe like a mental health day? I guess. Kind of. Playing maybe. video games? I guess if it makes you happy. I would, if you are honest with your boss and you're going to, like, I wouldn't say I'm taking a video game day. I would probably use the term mental health day. That's true. And then That's don't tell anybody upon. what you're doing for the whole day. Yeah. In some workplaces, they love the concept of the mental health day. Other ones you have to be like, oh, I got a cold, like, or something like that. Yeah. Got this dry cough. Don't want me in. Let me make sure I'm okay. But, the, like, around these parts, I, I feel like our boss is pretty supportive of the mental health day in reason. You do one here and there, like Amy. <laughs> I was just going to say I took a mental yeah. health day, and he got really worried about me. He, like, well, called me. That's because you said mental health day and didn't it didn't say that you just really wanted to make sure that you burned your, your sick days. I just, I had so many sick days that I needed to use up by the end of the year. Mm-hmm. So I just thought it'd be safer to say I was taking a mental health day. And then he like called and was like, are you doing okay? Is there anything we can do for you? Yours have never actually been, I don't think, mental health days. You're just worried about losing your sick days. What do you mean? That is a mental health day. I'm relaxing, taking a nap, being stressed. List. The thing that was stressing you out was losing your sick days. Yeah, and then I didn't lose them. Well, I guess it did help your mental yeah. health. Yeah, and now yeah. our mental health is A-OK. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think coming here and spewing nonsense into this microphone is my mental health day. It does. It works, too. It works pretty good. You seeing some text and confessions? Yeah, somebody said, I'm pregnant and my husband is strong about me avoiding deli meat and I've been craving it. So I went to Jimmy John's with cash so that he wouldn't see it on our bank account. Can you not eat... Deli meat? They recommend, like, against it. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, get, get, be careful with that. Uh, do you have maybe something you want to confess about today? Hello. You there? I'm the guy at my office who steals people's food. I, I steal their food out of the fridge. And I know I know it sounds uh, pathetic and sad and kind of stupid, uh, but but I, I suck at cooking, and I, I don't have a budget to, to make lunch every single day. So my coworkers, they can feed me lunch, basically. I don't know. Um, no one's caught me yet. I mean, I'm guessing you're probably, whether you realize it or not, you're the most hated person in the office, because how often are people going to look for their food? Like, for example, I've just been gifted by my, my glorious friends here, birthday lasagna. I'd be pretty mad if my birthday lasagna disappeared. Who is it? Better that- not work here, you punk. Somebody had, it was it was just before the holidays, they had, like, a cake for somebody's birthday. And I think that's what happened here at work. Someone took, like, a slice out of the birthday cake before they gave it to them. And it was in the fridge. An uncut cake is kind of like, I think, universal sign for don't touch this yeah. cake. Do you remember, this was a few years ago, someone brought a bunch of bacon here to work. And they put it in the freezer, which was, like, a weird thing. I think it is odd someone, to do. Maybe someone gifted it to them, so they brought it, like, they had it delivered to work. And they put it in the freezer. Someone thought it was, like, a free-for-all and took a bunch of the bacon. <laughs> and they had to send out, like, a company-wide email that was, like, that was my bacon. Can you please bring it back? And the person, like, confessed and brought it back. 
I don't remember that in the slightest. Yeah, someone got bacon you, stolen. If you're going to do stuff like that, though, like, you have to expect it to go missing. Yeah, I mean, it's not the safest place to leave things, but I think it's pretty obvious, like, what was meant for somebody else. Put your I would name never on it. find ba- frozen bacon, and I'm like, I, I should take this home because I'm at a grocery store. Like, put your name on it, though, like, Trace's Bacon. The, uh, this would be the place, because we get a lot of stuff just left here sometimes. That's true. So I, I wouldn't be completely surprised if we'd done, like, an ad campaign with Hershire Farms and they dumped off some frozen bacon to be like, you guys are awesome. Really like that commercial about bacon that Amy and Jamie did. I would buy that that would happen. Yeah. But then again, if I wasn't involved in said ad campaign for Hershire Farms, go meet! I probably wouldn't take the bacon. Mm-hmm. But you should, t- and you shouldn't leave the bacon in there for a long period of time. You should just take it home. It probably is a weird place to leave your Christmas bacon, if I'm being honest. <laughs> yeah. It's a strange thing to do. You got your confession today. 237, it's text. 35270 with Bieber. Holy on the Playhouse. Why not 84?